it just gets unlivable. That's the only way to describe it. It's like living inside an amusement park ride. It just never stops. Jeez. I always wasn't ready really for this change. So here we are in our floating house that hasn't stopped rolling for a week in one of the most beautiful places on earth. Objectively, the Marquesas Islands of French Polynesia are a dream come true. Six months ago, we were so excited to arrive here as we made landfall after a 19-day passage from Mexico. I mean, come on, just look at these happy faces. But this time, when we returned after one of our toughest sails in recent memory, it felt a little different. As soon as we dropped the hook last night, I just started kind of like crying. We're so lucky to live the life that we do and to call such incredible places around the world our backyard. But sometimes, no matter how perfect things can seem on the outside, life gets tough. And for the first time in a while, we were in a funk. So last week, you guys probably saw in the video that I had a mini breakdown after our passage here to the Marquesas. Uh, I was really not in a good place, feeling super exhausted and just like overwhelmed with the whole situation. And to be honest, it hasn't really gotten a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, the anchorages here are just horrific. It's been super rolly. Please. Really hot. Whew. And a lot of bugs. There's so many mosquitoes. Ah! To be this rolly when on anchor, it's, it's really tough. The rolls though. Oh, the whole boat's going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. Hold on. <laughs> It just like gets into your skin, like it gets under your skin. I don't know what you call it in English, but it's like, it just gets to me so bad. Uh, it's not pleasant. Oh no, <laughs> the drawer fell open. Brian, I think it could be cool if you feel like coming in here and saying something. Right now, we're trying to make our lives a little bit more comfortable by rigging up two rocker stopper. I call them flopper stoppers. There's a bunch of different styles and products on the market, but they all work more or less off the same premise. They're designed to sink easily, but resist upward motion. We've got these cone-shaped ones called Davis rocker stoppers that you string together on a line. And when you hang them off both sides of the boat, they work together to dampen the rolling motion. Their whole job is to take energy out of the system, thus dampening from a death roll to mildly annoying. Our friends Scott and Tammy from Animal Cracker gave us these in Tahiti a few weeks ago, so we're quite new to using them, and they do take a bit of time to set up. Normally, when it's too rolly, we just move, but here in the Marquesas, there just aren't a lot of good options for anchorages. And we were awaiting the arrival of a very special visitor, so we didn't want to stray too far from the airport. But we'll get to that in a bit. It can't hurt. It's just awful. Look at the swells are just rolling right into this bay, like literally open to the ocean. And the wind is not consistent. And so when the wind stops, then we go beam onto the swells and it, it just gets unlivable. That's the only way to describe it. It's like living inside an amusement park ride. It just never stops. I want to be here. But we were here, and we had months ahead of us here in the Marquesas, as this is really the only safe place we can be during the cyclone season, which was now upon us. So it was time to embrace the literal and figurative roller coaster we were on and just go with it. 
Luckily, the rocker stoppers did actually help a decent amount. And the next day, we had something even better to look forward to that would help us snap right out of it. I feel good. I feel a lot better than we have been. And it's perfect timing for... Who's coming today, Sierra? Mormor. Mormor, and how excited are you? Excited. <laughs> You guys ready or what? Ready! Ready! Sierra's got her beach sunnies on. Wow. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, <laughs> Careful! Uh-oh. It is still rolling, but it's not too bad. Whoa! My Sierra coming up. This is the island of Nukuhiva, and we're anchored right here. And now we're gonna drive all the way across town over here to the airport she's crashed we're gonna have our lunch here look at that look at that french lunch mm -hmm. pretty good though mm -hmm. it's a nice view Sleeping child in the car right down there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the temperature up here is so much more pleasant. It's like 27 degrees, a nice cool breeze. Oh, I wish it could be this temperature right down there. Look who woke up! Yeah. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Bobo. Panga. Panga? We continued along on our idyllic island drive, and we arrived to the airport just in time to see Mormor's plane touch down. A sight that made one of us incredibly excited. <laughs> Did you see how fast she ran? Wow. Oh, hi, Mormor. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh my god, I'm warm. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. Welcome to another random place. <laughs> She's gonna sleep. Oh, my feet! Why we sing? Did you hear her comment when I took off my shoes? <laughs> Mormor has socks. <laughs> that was strange. Yeah. Strange person had <gasps> socks in their shoes. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Camp up here. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, this is us for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> I put Sierra to bed, and I actually think Mom fell asleep faster than Sierra. She was so jet lagged, um, but they're really cute up there, and I think they're both just fall asleep. Uh, 
uh, we're getting ourselves oh my God, ready for an adventure today. We're gonna get off this rolling hot boat and we're gonna take a car and drive around the island. It's quite miserable uh, in the anchorage today. Um, yeah. <laughs> How did you sleep? <laughs> well, it was a bit rolly, but hold on. But first, for our daily morning routine, we're gonna get ready for today's adventure with some AG1 that is a sponsor of this week's video. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. AG1 is the perfect way to give me energy throughout the day and knowing that I'm supporting my immune system with essential vitamins, minerals, and whole food source antioxidants feels great. I don't know about you, but if my gut is happy, I feel more motivated and less tired. And with AG1, I support my gut health with a science-driven blend of pre and probiotics and digestive enzymes. And I've really noticed a difference. Plus, it's super easy to make. Eight ounces of water or orange juice, that is our new favorite. One scoop of powder, shake, and that's it. I'm gonna have mom try AG1 for the first time now. Here you go, ma. Give this a try. Wow, is this what I've been seeing you drink? AG1. AG1. Wow. Is it good? It's yummy. Got a natural flavor to it. Like it. Can I keep it? <laughs> drink it. Drink it. <laughs> it is super easy to get started, so why not take care of yourself? Just head to our link, drinkag1.com forward slash svdelos. We'll even put it below for you. If you do right now, you can get a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 drops and five free travel packs of AG1 powder with your first purchase. That's it. Thanks very much for watching and back to the show. It is bumpy here today. It's big swell coming in. The camera simply does not do the rolls justice. And every time I try to film a proper cups flying off the table roll, of course, it never comes when I'm ready with the camera. Why does it never roll when you want it to roll? <laughs> and just as I was commenting on this phenomenon, I captured something even better. Every time I film it, it doesn't roll. <laughs> What happened? Rolling! <laughs> Everybody in the dinghy. Hiking, beautiful views, local food, and animals awaited us. But our first stop of the day was to show more and more something very special here in French Polynesia. What do you know about tiki's, Ma? No, oh, they look very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like them. I'll insert yeah. tiki facts here. The exact origins of tikis are unclear, but they can be found in many Polynesian islands, like right here in French Polynesia, Hawaii, Fiji, Easter Island, and New Zealand, just to name a few. The Marquesas Islands is home to lots of ancient tikis carved from stone, as well as some pretty incredible modern tiki art. In Polynesian culture, the tiki represents the connection between man, woman, and nature, between heaven and earth, and symbolizes creation and life itself. It's pretty cool to be able to see these beautiful, culturally significant works of art scattered around in such a beautiful backdrop. With Mormor's first tiki officially checked off the list, we ventured on towards our next mission of the day. <laughs> Walk in your horse. See that on your show. There's crazy. We're seeing more pigs. <laughs> we were starting to work up an appetite, and we found a pretty cool spot to stop and give more and more her first taste of the local flavors. We're at a little restaurant. Local restaurant. On the other side of the island. She does some really nice food with her. Cheers. Cheers, Sierra. Wait, oh. mom. Dad. Okay. Mm. Ah, it's cold. It's cold. Ooh, look at that. Nom, nom, nom. I got the assembly. Oh. I have shrimp. I have fried fish. I have grilled fish. Tapioca salad. Are you hmm. Googling your food? 
<laughs> I couldn't remember what tapioca was. I thought it was cassava, and it is cassava. It's like a potato, but it tastes really good. What did you get, Sierra? Mm. Rice. And I had poisson fu, which is a raw fish in like a coconut it's like milk. Ceviche. Yeah, like ceviche. It's really, really nice. Bon appetit. What can you see, Sierra? See that? Is it an eel? Yeah. See eels down here. Some massive eels. Oh wow, they're big. Yeah. There is a trail nearby that led up to what promised to be a pretty amazing lookout point. So we bid adieu to our slithery friend and set off on our way. It's good that we had a massive lunch before doing this. <laughs> My belly's like, whoa. Only 1,200 meters to climb. I know. Very smart for four year old. I know. Only there. <laughs> Just kidding, it's 1,200 feet. So cashew grows actually upside down like this on a fruit. I know. And then you have to take the cashew off and then you have to dry it Three. and then you can crack out the cashew. Nom nom nom. Yeah, I'd eat it. Cool, huh? Whoa, yeah. I hadn't seen that before we were in India and then I realized why cashews are so expensive. <laughs> because it's like a lot of work to pick out all the individual fruit, get the cashew off, dry it, and then, yeah, it's a lot. Did we make it? We made it. Ooh, oh, look at this. Two MLs down there. Are they rolling? Yep. Oh, baby, look at that little fella. Horse crossing. It's uh, been a long day for somebody. <laughs> She's crashed. Okay, we are leaving this rolly ass anchorage. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. Uh, we took down the poles and straight away we just started rolling like crazy. Just picking up the hook and it's gonna move to a bay that is just like an hour away, a little bit further up, and will hopefully be a little bit less rolly. Bye bye, rolly anchorage. Yeah, we've had enough. I was just like, what are we doing here? The boat, even with the flopper stoppers, and the flopper stoppers really helped. Yeah. Like they made it so that we manageable. could live on manageable. So like, so it was the difference same. between being uncomfortable sometimes and cups flying off the table. Yeah. Like it made that much of a difference. And then we're gonna head around the corner to a little bay that we checked out when we rented the car yesterday called Humi, which is around the corner. Should have better protection from the swell. Pretty much straight into it, huh? Straight into it. Stretching out. Okay, so we have three meter under us and we're just backing down as we always do to uh, make sure that the hook sets real good and that we're not dragging. It 
It's so special to have mom here. I think that's one of the things that I struggle the most with, with this sailing lifestyle, is just like being away from family and friends for such extended periods of time. And Sierra has been looking forward to this for so long. And she's just like loving that they're sleeping together up there in her room. And I feel like we're back on track. We're getting out of our funk that we had here earlier. Life is overwhelming sometimes and I feel like mom has really, really helped us to get out of that. I can definitely feel that we're moving in the right direction. So it's amazing. I like the baguette holder. Mm -hmm. You have a baguette holder too? <laughs> How excited is Sierra? So excited. How excited is Mormo, you think? So sad to write me. How does she go on the plane? What's that? 